is the Greater Lagos Vision, and I'm your host, Love Ikuku Oyedoku. Lagos State Governor Babajide Somulu has been sworn in alongside his deputy, Dr. Kadri Obafemi Hamzad, for a second term in office. The inauguration ceremony, which was held on Monday, May 29, at the Tafua Balewa Square, Unicorn Lagos, was graced by dignitaries including monarchs, captains of industry, politicians, and top government officials, among others, who defied the heavy downpour to witness the epoch making events. Speaking after his swearing in, Governor Sawolo rededicated himself to meeting and surpassing the expectations of the people. He said his administration would work relentlessly to make Lagos State where economic opportunities abound, where the infrastructure is robust and resilient, and where the rule of law prevails. Our greater Lagos is indeed rising, and we are all rising with it. Welcome once again. This is the Greater Lagos Vision, and I'm your host, Love Ikuku Oyedoku. This episode features Governorship Inauguration, Sawolu Hamzat sworn in as Lagos Governor Deputy. Infrastructure, Sawolu commissions projects across Lagos to round off first term in office. Details of these and many more when we return. Please stay with us. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu has been sworn in for a second term in office alongside his deputy, Dr. Obafemi Hamzat. Taking his oath of office, Governor Sawunlu declared that his government would continue to build a Lagos known as a hub for innovation, culture, and sustainable development. The early rainfall was not enough to stop this mass of people from witnessing the second inauguration of the Lagos State Governor and his deputy. The deputy governor, Obafemi Hamzat, arrived at the venue before his boss. Straight away, the 15th governor of Lagos is ushered into a motorcade and driven around the venue, acknowledging cheers from the people. Governor Sawunlu received the oath of office alongside his deputy by the chief judge of the state, Justice Kasim Alugba. In his inaugural speech, Sawunlu pledged to work tirelessly for the well-being of every Lagosian. He maintained that his government would remain committed to honesty, transparency, humility and dedication. Of the civil society of the NGOs and non governmental 
Tawolu promised that this second time around would birth design policies and programs that would lift all. section of Lagosians commended Sawon Lu for his first term and like Oliver Twist ask for more development. With this opportunity it's going to consolidate all the efforts he's been making. You know we have made tremendous progress. We have the rice factory, we, we have so many projects and programs going on and with the second uh, term in office he has opportunity to put up proper structure to make all those programs sustainable. He's done very well. It's just for him to continue where he stopped. That's all. He's done very well. He's one of the best governors that have governed Lagos State. I believe that he should do much more in the areas of infrastructure. He should do much more in education, in health, in every facet of governance. We want to congratulate the Brazilian people and Brazilian government. We, we want uh, all the um, success. We wish all the success to the go governor and to the deputy governor in this second uh, government for the next four years. And uh, we expect to keep working uh, with the state of uh, Lagos as we have done so, so far. And uh, that will be for profitable for both uh, Nigeria and Lagos State and Brazil. There's no doubt because he performed very well in the first term, so he's going to do wonderfully well. We expect many more from him, and he's going to do it. From his second term, I want him to complete what he has started and to improve on it. All the children out of school should be put in school, and there should be something for the elderly especially the seniors, because the seniors are not well taken care of in Nigeria. I can't find uh, enough words to describe how I feel, but I feel elated that I was the, the, uh, the director general of the party and I successfully um, saw to the, uh, the winning of the party. But that is the, because uh, negotiators want us. So I must first and foremost thank negotiators for the beautiful things they've done. Because right now, as we are doing the swearing in of Sawolu and uh, Amzat, Tinubu was sworn in in Abuja. So it's, um, you, you cannot find enough words to explain such a feeling. I feel on top of the world because uh, this is the first time we are having the strong feeling of the of the uh, of the federal government in Lagos, and uh, we have people that are tested. We are not just having Lagos; we are not just having them there. Tinubu has been tested, and I can bet it. Most people, if not everyone, will love his administration. I'm saying this right now. And of course, we've had the Sawolu administration. We have the, uh, the team's agendas that he introduced. 
he performed wonderfully well despite all the COVID tests. As a matter of fact, COVID, uh, this COVID scenario also made his uh, position well known to everyone. So I'm really happy and I congratulate you too and everyone looking at us. Negotiations would be looking to see projects like the Blue Rail Line up and running. The revamping of the B-out buses would function in air conditioner. The completion of more road projects, among others. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sohonlu has declared that his administration will continue to provide massive infrastructure renewal improve the quality of life of the people and drive massive social economic growth through infrastructure upgrade and renewal. Governor Sawonlu gave this assurance while speaking at the commissioning of the Ogudu Alakbara Link Road and Prince Adesoji Ajose Street in Lagos. This is a newly reconstructed Ogudu Alakpara Link Road with Bridge and Prince Adesoji Adjose Street in the Ogudu area of Lagos State. The newly designed access roadway linking four local councils in the area has opened vehicular traffic, solving a major traffic problem in that access. Crowd of jubilant residents of Kushofe local government area joined Governor Babajide Sawunlu at the ceremony. The dual carriage infrastructure cuts through Ogudu into Alakbere in Igboike to local council development area and drops on Lagos Ibadan Highway. At its Ogudu end, the link road links motorists to connect Ikorodu Road. The Ogudu Alakbare Link Road, designed with interlocked concrete blocks, was part of 12 other capital projects commissioned by Governor Babajide Sawunlu in Lagos East Senatorial District as part of the pre inauguration activities lined up to usher in Sawunlu's second term. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Governor Sawulu said the delivery of the road project testified to his administration's prioritization of purposeful governance. What we have done is a short but very important and strategic road because it has a link component and it's a road that is supposed to connect two communities you know, within the same local government and opens up you know, connectivity, reduces journey time and give our citizens a better experience on the road. Not only that, it also improves the commercial and real estate you know, value in this entire neighborhood. And it gives opening, it just opens up you know, all of this entire corridor. And you've heard people say that this has not happened in the last 30, 40 years. People that have been living in this community have never had it this, this well for them within a short while to be able to connect, you know, from the axial going towards Third Milan Bridge and the road uh, from Ojota, you know, to all the way to Ogudu Bridge. That this simple thing is a testimonial to their belief in our government. And for us, it's, a, it's part of our master plan to continue to develop all the nooks and crannies of our states as a shrine under our team's agenda where we said that we will make Lagos a real 21st century economy. You can see real estate development all around this place. You can see dead assets that have been woken up just by the sheer investment that were put onto this road. Our promise to you is that we will not relent. This will continue to push and ensure that all of the promises that were given to you even as we end our first tenure and we start a second tenure of the greater Lagos, that it's on course and we will not stop at anything. 
until when we reassure yourselves and we reassure ourselves too that we're able to achieve all of the things. And everything that we've said is that we want to bring about better economic growth and development within our communities. We want to ensure that people live in a safe and secure environment. We want to ensure that people have access to good health, to good schools, and have access to quality road infrastructure. These are some of the things that will continue to push us to ensure that Lagos continues to be a resilient, first-class, uh, metropolis, city-state that all of us can be truly, truly proud of. So Wole reiterated that his administration would continue to work on infrastructure renewal program to improve the quality of life of the citizens and enhance socio-economic development. He urged residents of the beneficiary communities to protect the road facilities and ensure the drainage system was maintained and free of refuse. These investments are public investments. They are investments to improve the quality of life of our citizens, be it in education, be it in public transportation, be it in housing, or even be it in road infrastructure. They usually have a multiplier effect on the economy and the economics of the city. And that's why Lagos continue to remain a progressive and a purpose forward-looking state in our country. We're happy with our modest achievement, but what it takes us that we have a lot more to do. What it tells us that with your support, we can do a lot more. And that's what we're committed to when we came in into our second term. I want to thank you for your patience, for your understanding, and for your support during the last election. Elections is over now, and so it's purposeful and meaningful development that is on our radar, and that's what we're about. We will not stop at that. That is what we have promised our citizens, and that's what we will be delivering. This link bridge, I'm told, right, not only does it also have the connecting walkways, it also will help to free up the drainage issue that we usually have under the China, you know, um, collecting drains. And it's a major connector onto the Third Milan Bridge, the Papa Uroshoki Express Road, and all of the connecting you know, um, um, communities around. And so it is my honor and a real privilege that I want to formally hand over this project, this beautiful dual carriage road, to the people of Koshofe local government, to the people of Agboike to Ikosisheri, and all of the environs, to take proper care of it to see it as one of your own assets that you need to utilize very, very well. Because we are not asking you to pay anything. We are not asking you for any money on it. It's government, it's public goods, right, which will improve the quality of life for you and for your family. Special advisor to Governor Sawulu on Works and Infrastructure, Engineer Aramide Adeyoye, said prior to the intervention, the existing roads were without drainage facilities. This road, existing roads are without drainage. The pictures in the pamphlet actually speaks to the condition that you have on the roadway. It was entirely swampy and bad. There was no drainage and there was a disconnect and it was an existing wetland. Plus, the immediate environment was subject to flooding with consequent negative impact on transportation given the low line and swampy bit of the area. The delivery of both the fire and 45 meters long with a and link bridge with an average width of 14.6 meters and a 22 meter length bridge as well as a 600 meter long 7.4 meter width Prince Adjose Road would serve as a good alternative to congest areas around the Gudo Dota Link Axis and the underpass. This will in turn help reducing travel time in the axis and manners lost in traffic. Aside from improving connectivity, this new link road will also eliminate perennial gridlock along the axis, enhance property value, and look, make, provide a aesthetically pleasing environment and improve the socioeconomic well being of the people. It will not be out of place here to attempt to give find the scope of work that has been done and give a context to it. We have had to clear the carriageway, relocate the utilities, demolish and replace the inadequate drains and culvert, provide the walkways and service docks so that you do not have to cut across the roadway. Solid extend has been done up to a depth of about 2.5 meters. Installation of white LED street lights in the back transformer and construction with a 2 meter length depth on car. No doubt. 
The delivery of both the 545-meter-long ogudu Alakpore link road with an average width of 14.6 meter and a 22-meter bridge as well as a 60-meter-long Prince Adjusted Street would serve as a good alternative road for motorists, especially residents of Ogudu, GRA Estate, Phases 1 and 2. <music> Lagos State Governor Babajide Sohunlu has reassured Lagosians that his second term in office will be more rewarding. The governor stated this as he commissioned the newly reconstructed and upgraded Adeniji Adele Street, Okekpokpo Takba Street, Sura Primary Health Care Centers in Lagos Island East Local Government Council Development Area and Okyodo Junior High School at Ebutemeta. This is a newly commissioned Okiado Junior High School in Ebutemeta, Lagos. It is a 15 blocks of classrooms. The arrival of Governor Sawonlu triggered so much excitement among the people. <laughs> Governor Sawonlu told the residents that a breast is yet to come. He said his administration is poised to ensure good governance and would not disappoint the people. The governor urged them to take possession of government assets and put them to good use. We believe this facility will address the challenge of inadequate inadequacy of infrastructure and will move our education sector towards attaining the global standard for effective learning and teaching. Let me also use opportunity to assure our students and hard-working and dedicated teachers of our commitment to do more. Speaking during the commissioning, Lagos State Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Folachade Adefisayo, commended the governor on his efforts to improve educational sector in the state. As a, a member of Lagos Midland constituency, it always makes me happy when we do anything here because then you know that promises were made and these promises were kept. So this is another promise made and another promise kept. And Mr. Governor, we say very thank you to you. This is our school right here in Lagos mainland. And we are determined to take care of it. And we are determined that it is going to be one of the best schools in the state, like we have had many other great schools. And we are very proud that in Lagos mainland here, we were able to finish all our major schools. If you look around all the way from Monique Girls, down to Faziloma, down to St. Francis, down to uh, Okeodo here, there are so many schools that we have rehabilitated. So much furniture, thank you very much sir, furniture that we've given to our schools, support in a lot of ways. But we know, and it's not just about infrastructure, and here we say thank you to Mr. Governor. Mr. Governor is known as Mr. Infrastructure, but I'm an educationist. And as an educationist, I want to call him Mr. Education as well. And for us as educationists, the most important thing is what happens in the classroom between the teacher and the student. And Mr. Governor has helped us support this relationship so much so that our children are doing well all over the state. If you look at our WIAC results, our WIAC results are so good now that we are having results like 80%, 75% in most of our schools. I said thank you to the teaching PSCs and the principals and the teachers because they work very hard. The community was full of praise for Governor Sawunlu over the project, which is said has brought opportunity to children of the ordinary men to learn in a posh environment. The two-day simultaneous exercise to the governor and his representatives across seven schools in Agege, Ijai, Alimosho, Kushofe, and Ikurudu local councils. That's all we have for you on this episode of the Greater Lagos Vision on Plus TV Africa. I'm Lovikuku Oyedoku. Bye for now. Hello.